All right, uh, just got a call from one of our customer's neighbors. Apparently, the individual has two trees that are falling. Um, it was the way he tried to explain it to me, and he has them roped off. No idea what Joe and I are about to get into. I'm going to go grab Joe, and we're going to head there. Um, got some rigging stuff, climbing stuff, a couple saws, so... We'll see what the job entails. The guy just wants it down, cut up, and then he's gonna take care of the rest, which is always great. Um, but just trying to uh, actively engage a little bit more and creating some video content. I know a lot of people are really interested in this, in this stuff and um, the way we go about doing what we do. So stay tuned, uh, this could get pretty interesting. Just got bro Joe headed to the job. Eat a sandwich. Eat a sandwich. <laughs> Joe, this dude told me that he has the trees rigged together with a rope and that the one isn't sort of big, it's really big. Well, I'm curious to Joe, what's ever... the biggest saw we have right now? Because all of our power saws are in the shop. He was got a 440, huh? <laughs> a 450 with a, with a 16, 16 inch because we have four power saws in the shop. We have like 30 saws. They're all gone. Yeah. yeah. Putting along. Here we go. Let's go find some chaos. Just got bro Joe headed to the job. Eating a sandwich. Eating a sandwich. <laughs> Joe, this dude told me that he has the trees rigged together with a rope and the, the one isn't sort of big, it's really big. Well, I'm curious to Joe, what's the biggest saw we have right now? Because all of our power saws are in the shop. He just got a 440, huh? <laughs> a, a 450 with a, with a 16, 16 inch because we have four power saws in the shop. We have like 30 saws, they're all gone. Yeah. yeah. Putting along, here we go. Let's go find some chaos. All right, I uh, just got to the job. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Obviously, we view trees a little bit different than everybody else. Um, but the primary issue is these vines have choked out these trees so much, and that's actually what ca is causing these trees to fall over. That one has just been relatively ripped out of the ground. So what I need to do is I'm going to climb this chair and I'm just going to cut those vines off um, and reason being is when we start cutting these trees on the base we can probably get these trees to lower as is but those vines will really create a direction of their own so we just want to take away any potential hazard that we possibly can as we go so that's going to be the first step I'm going to go up cut the vines down and then uh, Joe's just going to stand by in case I need them and then we got one tree over here. He just asked us to drop. You can see where it snapped in half. There was two. Uh, it, well, it's like two pieces. So, yeah, this will take us a few hours, but whatever. It's what we're here for. What do you think, Joe? Lots of vines. Lots of vines. Vines make a mess. But it's also no cleanup job, so those are always nice. All right, as you can see... I'm making my way up this tree and just like how much of a tangled mess these vines uh, make the work circumstances and like you really just got to keep pecking away at them. Uh, I'm probably only 10 feet off the ground. You can see Jay down there. But like you can see how thick it gets and how quick. And like these vines will just completely check out an ecosystem. And you can see where like it just pulls everything down with it and like that's just how they work they choke everything out and they suck the nutrients out of it and they pull heavy so uh this will probably take me about 20 minutes to get through this portion of the tree and get it cleaned up so we can lower this other stuff down in a safe manner but i gotta get some of this stuff behind me too all right some stuff that was like hanging but I cut all those vines. Now Joe's just gonna take weight off of this tree here that's half and half. There's two of them. 
that are primary concern. So Joe's just gonna take some weight off the tip. And then we're gonna clean it up, take some more weight off, and then we'll just bring these trees down together. Vines on your property, anytime you have time available, you really need to cut them to the base because they will completely rip your ecosystem apart. Even these strong cherry trees, it only takes a few years of them being wrapped up. Break the tree. Um, and that's exactly what happened. They just they constricted the point like uh, basically like a boa. You know, they suck the life out of anything they can get around. So, Good job, Joe. Joe's got his headgear on. One, we'll clean this up a little bit just yeah. so it's not too much for them, be a little easier for us. What are you just making a cut back here somewhere on the corner? What's that? Like, I, no, I'll just, I'm gonna make a cut there and I'll just, I'll walk so it walks down. The tips of it are just gonna touch where we put those posts in. Get yeah, we'll just let it split. We'll, I'll barber chair it down. Yeah. Very neat. Got it down. Uh, you can see I barber chair that down. Just made a small. I wish I would have brought a GoPro, but made a small face cut, and then I cut. So the face cut was here. I cut ahead of it, so it would split. Um, but it's down. Everything's good. Just minimal vines hanging. Uh, we'll get the rest of this, get it cleaned up for this gentleman, and then get out of his hair. He actually has one more tree. About. 20 yards from where I'm standing that he'd last us to drop too, but this is a drop and go job. We'll clean it up a little bit for him because it is a lot of stuff, but I don't know. Should be having about an hour. Alright, we got the other one wrapped up. Uh, customers taking care of the cleanup. So it's nice that we don't have to. On to this one here. It had three hangers that so I kind of forgot to take pictures and film. Um just gonna Drop that thing in the woods, uh, cut the vines up, and then be on our way. So, pretty easy emergency job. And then, uh, doing a maple trim tomorrow. Well, that's a wrap for this one. You can see how it's more vines than it is like lumber for the most part. And that's why this tree's down, is because the vines just completely choke it out I actually went back behind there and cut the bases of those ones for that gentleman to try to prevent some issues and cut a few other ones for them um, at the base because they will uh, dry out relatively fast if you cut them at the base but yeah such a two inch one inch vine can cause a serious headache so as far as property maintenance is concerned um, Definitely be diligent with cutting the uh, vines that you have within your area. And be wise with it and don't try to tackle jobs that you can't handle. 
So, ooh, nice save. On to the next one.